guys welcome back to my channel now if you want to see how I got these really really pretty colors these are my fall colors fall is coming up and I wanted to make a wig that represented fall so I came up with this beautiful something or the other so if you want to see how I did this stay tuned so I'm going to use three bundles of the Brazilian body wave this is from XBL hair and these are in the lens 16 18 and 20 and the frontal is also body wave and it is in the lens 14 and I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots because um, you want to you don't have to but I want to bleach the knots to make it look a little more realistic so I'm using my BW2 powder in 30 volume developer and I got this from my local beauty supply store so I used some saran wrap I got this from Tierra Monet I used saran wrap because it actually does help process the hair faster and you can actually see the progress versus using foil paper where you can't really see anything so I lightly apply this to the frontal. Um, you want to be really light with it because you don't want to press too hard because it touches the hair. So you just want to make sure that you're lightly applying it. This is why we need it to be thick. Alright, so I turned the frontal over and I put it on the saran wrap and I let that sit for about 20 minutes because I don't like to over process my hair. Make sure you check it periodically and once it looks like it's been done, then you go ahead and wash that out. So now we're going to go ahead and bleach the hair and I'm using my 20 volume developer and my um, BW2 powder and I am making the consistency does not have to be thick. Alright, so I'm going to start with my frontal and I am going to concentrate on the bottom of the hair. So I am going to apply the mixture all over the bottom of the hair, not going too far up because I'm going to add another layer of bleach. So just pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, so I let the bottom of the hair sit for about 15 minutes. This hair actually processed really quick when it came to color, so you don't want to over bleach the hair. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. I had another mixture of my BW2 powder and a 10 volume developer to put above where I put the 20 volume so I want a smooth transition so I let that sit for about 10 minutes and then once that was done I went ahead and washed that out so I did the same thing to the bundles as well All right, so this is the look of the hair. So this is the color, this is the bleach. It's a beautiful copper color, but we wanna add something more to give it a pop of color. This is a fall wig, so we wanna add something to give it that oomph, and I decided to add red. I decided to use the Wella Color Tango in the color 6RRV, and this is the color red, and I want to add that autumn fall type 
look to the hair. So I'm using a 10 volume developer with this because I don't want it to process too quick because I really don't want it to be a bright, bright red. So I'm using the lowest volume I possibly can. And I really didn't measure anything. I just eyeballed it so you can eyeball it as well. All right, so I am going to apply it from root all the way down to that 10 volume, kind of creeping into the 20 because I want a transition of dark red going down to light red going down to my copper just to kind of give it that kind of gradient look. All right, so I let that sit for about 25 minutes, and once done, I go ahead and I start customizing my frontal. If you want a full tutorial on how I customize my frontals, I do have a older video down below. I will link it down below and link it on screen, but if you want to see more updated video, just let me know down below, and I'll go ahead and get that done for you. So I'm just putting simple curls in it, nothing too fancy. And you can see that red and that copper joining together is so beautiful. All right, so this is the final color. It is so gorgeous, guys. It is, you can see that pop of red. You can see that copper. You can see that it's blending into each other. It's just a gradient look. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna tell you about this hair, a little bit about this hair. This is XBL hair, and I got this from AliExpress. It's a lens. 20 18 and 16 with a 14 inch frontal and um honestly let me be honest about the hair the hair first of all i paid 112 dollars for the hair it was a sale that they had going on and i got like seven a seven dollar coupon so i was able to use that towards the purchase of the hair and um the hair when i got it, it was really soft i really liked it a lot um once i colored it the hair got a little dry um as far as the um coloring you guys saw that i did not use a whole like i didn't use 40 volume developer i used about i used 10 20 and 30. so that's what i used for the hair i didn't keep it on long but the hair i had to cut the ends of the hair because they were a little um dry they were a little frayed so i had to cut those off but other than that i do like the hair i think it is soft i just think there's a lot of short hairs on the wig um there's a lot of short hairs that i really don't care for um as far as the frontal i had to customize the frontal um i showed a little bit of that but i didn't show too much but other than that i mean the hair is okay it's not the best hair I've had. It's not the worst. Um, I think I want to do a video about the best and the worst hair that I've had from AliExpress. But as of right now, this is not the worst, but it's not my top. So, um, yeah, but other than that, it's okay. I, I, I like it. It's not bad, but I definitely do like the colors. I like the pop of colors. Um, I'm glad that I put the red right here. That way it transition it looks very fall like it looks very fall and i don't do red like i rarely do red i've done red one time where i had um red crochet braids which was on here but that was one of the videos that got deleted so that's somewhere but 
I mean, I never really do red, but this is, I definitely like this, and I like that the ends are like a copper color. So, yeah, it's really cute, really cute for fall. Um, if you try it out, just let me know down below. I want to see how you guys, um, I want to see how it look on people. Just let me know down below if you have any questions. You can always ask me anything. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to click like. And do not forget to check out my... I always forget this part. Do not forget to check out my website, justbeheard.com. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.